talked about boundaries before in this piece and the importance of having some boundaries so that you can actually create uh, time and space to keep on top of your self-care or performance habits, right? What I haven't really talked about is the purpose of boundaries, what they actually are, and what the difference is between some other things instead, right? So the purpose of a boundary is uh, it's not only to create space and time for us to get the right things done, it also helps us protect ourselves. Uh, so uh, it gives us that opportunity, you know, from uh, a way that we interact with the world as well, to decide how and when we react to things. And that's important because otherwise we'll kind of be reacting to everybody else's whims if we don't have the boundary. The other piece is as well is it helps us to contain ourselves so that we don't cause damage to ourselves or others. Now, this is a really important distinction because if we do violate our own boundaries, whether we stay back at work or we don't make time for our self-care habits or we pander to everybody else's needs before our own, we actually violate our own boundary and actually create damage to ourselves and to others because we're not necessarily resourced to relate to them in the right manner. Now, boundaries are also important because it helps us to connect with others, connect with ourselves and maintain, you know, a functional approach to things. But what a lot of people do is instead put in walls, which means that we get cut off from other people and how we're thinking and feeling in the moment.